friends welcome let us solve an assignment problem through hungarian assignment method or ham it is a very unique method of solving assignment problem simple arithmetic functions are there let us start the first step is to subtract the lowest value of each row from all the values of the row and it is known as reduced table let us prepare reduced table 1 by subtracting the lowest value of each row from all the values of the rows so it will be like something this 80 is the lowest value in the first row let us subtract it so 120 minus 80 it is 40 100 minus 80 20 80 minus 80 0 similarly in the second row the lowest value is 80 let us subtract 80 from all the three values 80 minus 80 0 90 minus 80 10 110 minus 80 30 in the third row the lowest value is 110 let us subtract 110 from all 110 minus 110 0 140 minus 110 30 120 minus 110 10 so this is the result row minus lowest that is the formula of first step now the second step reduce the table 2 but before writing the reduced table 2 let us check whether we have at least one zero in all the columns if we have at least one zero in all the columns we can bypass the second step but here we can see that in second column of b no zero is there so we will have to go for the second step and that is very similar to the first one in first we subtracted the lowest, lowest value from the entire row now we are going to repeat this step column wise subtract the lowest value from each and every column subtract the lowest value from each and every column what will happen 40 minus 0 40 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 20 minus 10 10 10 minus 10 0 30 minus 10 20 here lowest is 0 0 minus 0 0 30 minus 0 30 10 minus 0 10 this is reduce table 2 now check whether we have at least one zero in each row and table uh, in in each row and column in the last table we have zero one or more zero in all rows we have one or more zeros in all the columns so now we can go for assignment to make assignment to the last reduced table we have to follow a few very simple rules the first rule or step is find out a row which has only one zero so this is the first and last row find out the row from upper to lower the order will be from up to down up to first row second row third row in first there is only one zero in third there is only one zero so in first step these two rows are eligible for assignment make assignment to the uppermost row with only one zero now simultaneously we have to do another thing that is when we make assignment in any row an assignment is made automatically in any one column also we have to cancel all other zero in the same column no zero is there in this column so we cannot but now what is going to happen second row has two zeros so it is not eligible at this stage 
third row has single zero so we can make assignment in the third row and automatically the assignment is made to the first column now another zero is also there in the first column we have to cancel it because in same column we cannot make two assignments now no row is with original single zero so step two is find out the column which has originally without cancellation single zero and make assignment in the first column already assignment has been done in the second column there is only one zero so we can make assignment when we make assignment in any column automatically an assignment is also made in a row if there are any other zeros in the same row cancel them now after this step check whether all the workers have been assigned a single job or all the jobs have been assigned to one to each worker yes job one has been assigned to c two has been assigned to b three has been assigned to a or we can say that a has been assigned third job b has been assigned second c has been assigned first so this is the case of optimal solution let us check worker job and worker a job 3 time 110 worker b job 2 time 90 worker c job 1 time 80 total time is 280 in the previous lecture we had solved the same problem through complete enumeration method where there was a list of six possible assignments and the assignment with the lowest time required was the same a is assigned third job b is assigned second job c is assigned first job total time required is 280 minutes so in this way through ham following a few very simple steps we can directly arrive at the optimal solution but mind well every time it is not possible to arrive at the optimal solution by following only these two steps many a times it happens that because of the rule of cancelling the zeros in same column and same row we cannot make optimal assignment directly after this step in this type of cases we have to follow some other very simple steps to arrive at the optimal solution that's it for now thank you very much